welcome everybody to today's episode here on Wisdom Cafe Live of Meet the Expert. My name is Bob Schote. I'm known as the, as the Transformational Grandmaster, I think. And my beautiful co-host is Dr. Sophie Nubani, the queen of laughter and wisdom. So, Sophie, here we are again. Hello, hello. <laughs> it's so nice to, to be here and to have our amazing special guest today that we're so excited to introduce and to have share him with all our communities and our social media platforms. Yes. So our guest today has gone through a lot of challenges. He's originally from, from Canada. He now hails out of Sarasota, Florida. And we had the privilege of meeting him, been what, like two years ago? Yes. We had the Facebook memory with the interview in yeah. person. And he was really, uh, a, you know, the only in-person interview, if you think about it. Yes, that was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, so uh, his name is, is Stephen Smith, and, and we're going to bring him aboard. You can see him right here in the center. He's gone through a lot of challenges in his life uh, that I, I think a, lo a lot of people would have been really knocked down. But here's a guy, and I really respect it. We, we respect him for what he's been able to do, to pull himself back up from the the um, despair and and the struggles and so forth including having been even homeless at one time to uh, starting his amazing channel first of all doing a sunrise and, and i remember watching him coming on every single morning and still doing it seven days a week doing his live shows early in the morning and starting his live with nature. And I love that. love that he's, he's been able to get out into nature to do those live shows. He's now trans, transformed. When I talk about transformation, he's now transformed that into the LWN Foundation, which is, he's the founder, director, and CEO of, along with his... Uh, shows where he's interviewed a lot of top people. So it's just been amazing um, journey to be able to see this amazing guy uh, to uh, to take himself to that level. And he's continuing to to do that. So Stephen, I am so happy. We're both so happy to have you here on our show today. And we want to find out more what's going on and 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 how people can support you and much more. So. Stephen. Welcome, welcome, Stephen Smith. Truly, I also want to give you a special welcome on my end here and uh, congratulate you for your courage, for your resilience, for your genuine dedication to be in service because it takes a lot of that combined to be where you're at today, leading many and inspiring them to be able to tap into that courage because you showed them how it could be done. And that is the transitioning before the transformation is complete, is a lot of people are stuck in the to know how to, and they just don't know how to. And when people like yourself take the time to consistently demonstrate daily this action and labor of love to humanity, giving the time and allowing the interaction so that they can grow while you are growing, still passing it forward and passing the torch to the next person. I admire you for that. And I know that you also authored uh, a book and uh, you are doing amazing things for yourself and that is helping many. I truly, truly want to say thank you. And we are very happy to have you on the Meet the Expert on Wisdom Cafe show. So welcome again, Stephen. <laughs> wow, thank you. <laughs> I am blessed. 
blessed to be here and to have friends like yourself, Bob and Sophie, uh, and to be a part of a Wisdom Cafe as well. I remember two years ago when you came out here and that was just, um, it was a mind blower. And I was just telling someone earlier, it's like, you know, that's the first time anybody asked to interview me. And I was just simply doing these videos live with nature and doing this connection to nature and connection to source and community. And it's evolved a lot. It's come a long ways. <laughs> they were pretty, pretty rough videos back then. And then looking back, actually, I feel but uh, I can be. That's the inspiring story. part. You see, without those videos, which is real time, real effort, real trying to get things right. And behind the scenes, what people don't see is like the end result of a successful project. It took a lot of hard work in the back end and a lot of people that had sacrificed a lot of things and compromised sometimes even their health just to be there, which mm -hmm. is not necessarily the best thing to do. But I'm just saying the end result always looks so easy. But what really gets to that finish line is that one extra push of stamina to get the marathon and to win that race and not everyone is able to keep going with it and 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 get getting into it and you did so those rough videos are your best best <laughs> best example because they're best testimonials for you because you were a person who didn't know nothing about something who with persistence and practice and commitment to growth are now an expert and have your show on TV on top of all of that. I mean, in two years and your ability that you, you know, when we asked to interview you two years ago when you were in that stage, because it's because we saw something, we saw a dedication and a commitment on your end and we wanted to encourage that in you. And the blessings happens because you'll be surprised. You did not say no, you showed up and you showed up for opportunity. You showed up for life. And this kind of attitude always allows more growth and prosperity into your path. And that was something you did for yourself. And we congratulate you for that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I, I'm, I know I gotta be turning red here. It's like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> thank you for the praise oh my goodness i mean i don't even know what to say actually it's like wow <laughs> i remember that it meant so much for me to meet both of you and you made such a major impact in my life and you did help to motivate me it's like yes this is really great you're making this doing this nature thing and 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 i kept at it and it's you're right, been difficult, real difficult at times and, and a lot of hours. And But one of the things that I recognized is that I needed to, didn't need to, I wanted to do this. I knew that there was a message I knew and, and, and I just really kind of turned it over to, you know, my higher power. And I just said, you know, just, just direct me, let me do what comes. I mean, I had a plan but I didn't, you know, I had an idea and I let the answers come. And that's where like you showing up came. And that was right after I had released, uh, I had written a chapter in transformational change of all, of all the books in the universe, right? Transformational change. But I had recognized that I had made this transformational change, at least at that point from, you know, making really poor choices in my life is what I had done. Um, my particular thing was the drinking, you know, and at times using drugs and just not coping with life very well at all. Um, certainly had successes, but clearly wasn't feeling good about myself. And so that's where I hid with the alcohol and drugs, but it, it led me down a really bad path. And all that way to homelessness and losing everything and then having to make a decision and saying, Hey, look, I love camping, but I don't want a lifestyle for camping, you know? And so I, it was like fly above the wire 
and be a part of society or fly below the wire and like disappear into the literally the woods <laughs> and i chose to fly above the wire i made a decision to go ahead and say hey look i'm going to go ahead i am going to become an asset to not only my family and my kids but my community and it's been a long road because that's back in you know this started with the DUI in 2010, homeless in 2011, after I got out of jail and had nothing left. And here we are in 2020. And it's, so it's been a long journey. But what I would say is, is that I had to, uh, I didn't have to again. I, you know, there's no have to's here because I just decided uh, it, it's now time for me to pay it back because I saw God give me really everything back. He gave me yeah. back my job. He gave me a place to stay so I could not be out in the rain. Um, and, and I had to earn my way back into the business that I'd started and stuff like that. And it was like, so it's like, okay, it's coming, it's coming. And so I saw these blessings and then it just morphed into the videos. And then it's morphed now into this nonprofit foundation to uh, pay it forward. And that's where I was going with this. Amen. Pay it forward. Let people know you know that there's there's hope there no matter how bad things can get and i promise you i did not expect myself to become homeless that would have been the furthest thing from my mind uh, to be considered an alcoholic it was like okay an alcoholic is this you know guy in the ditch and dirty clothes and you know can't speak right and all this other and there was this visual thing but you know what i recognized that anybody can can go down that lane doesn't matter how who you are how much money you got whatever your success we can make choices that just drag us right down then it's a choice of what you're going to do next and so it's really all about action not just the words so i have worked away at this and it just is coming together and getting bigger all the time and it's like wow you know i'm i'm so glad to be on this show and you're making me reminisce and go, wow, two years ago. It's like, wow. <laughs> Look at the growth. And yet the time is. <laughs> the well, thank growth. you. Thank yes. you. Well, what do you and, and... go ahead. Let me, let, me, let me ask your question because people are going to look at you and, and you've interviewed some amazing people, including uh, the beautiful um, Sophie over on. Yeah. Right, right, right. I, this way. <laughs> so what, what do you say to people that uh, that uh, said, you know, Steve, you're, you're, you're an amazing guy. You know how to do all this kind of stuff. And you seem to got you. You seem to have everything together. What do you say to the people that may be in, in terms of going through difficulties, including alcoholism and drugs and and mm -hmm. eat? on the verge of homelessness that they don't have a chance that they could never come out of it. What do you say to, to those people? What I would say to someone that feels like there's absolutely no hope is, is that it in fact might seem like that when, when you're in particularly the throes of alcoholism, I, I use the old analogy. You can't see the forest for the trees, you know, um, what it takes initially in, in my book is to get sober. You have to stop the drugs and you have to make a decision for yourself, you know, and, and yes, I, you know, in, in that realm, I relapsed many times. I said, I'll never drink again, <laughs> you know, and, but I would. And I did this over a long period of time for quitting for a few years. But what I would say to the person is there is hope. And I'm an example of the fact that you can lose it, everything except for, thank God, I didn't lose my life. I was still alive. And because I was alive, that gave me an opportunity every single day to make, I say, you can paint the canvas of this day any way you choose. Uh -huh. And I start with positivity and I start with gratitude. And if you start thinking grateful, even for, you know, if you don't have much left, even the fact that you're alive, start with, I'm alive. Now you have an opportunity to do something. And it's a long process and if you're willing to be diligent and consistent then you can change your life and you can literally have anything you want but it's going to take you a lot of work 
and so that's what you have to be prepared for is you have to be prepared to put in the hard work um and what i tried to do now is where my whole journey has brought me is very shortly here to open up a resource and referral center and and have the ability to be able to help you get the help that you need if yeah. it's mental health help you know or if it if it's your health and wellness and that's really what i consider the foundation is is a health and wellness it's a mindset thing and i did this I surrounded myself with people and got to know and and cared for people like yourself, uh, Dr. Bob, and yourself, Dr. Sophie, and put these positive people that were so intelligent and so smart and doing these things that I wanted to have for myself. Mm -hmm. And so I surrounded myself with those kinds of people too. So sometimes you have to change the people, the places, and the things completely in your life to be able to achieve what you want. But what you put yourself around and what you think, it all starts right here, mm -hmm. can become something. And it starts with that intention. It starts with the intention of I want to get better. That, that is like an amazing feedback because we become the environment we are surrounded with uh, mm -hmm. on a subconscious level. It really influences our behavior and then it's going to influence our habits. Uh, so recognizing that and being able to transition into that. And for those people out there, for having open hearts and allowing people who might need you to give them a hand, make them feel you believe in their effort and encourage them and give them the courage to move forward is really much deeper than just an act of kindness one time, but an attitude towards life in giving because this really has such a ripple effect in our communities and our societies and how we can save many people from drowning by leading with such great example and not just teaching it because we learned from books but truly taking action and practicing it as well so and you are now mm -hmm. practicing what you have learned Stephen, because i am very impressed i had to take a deep breath right there it's like <laughs> yeah I, I hear you on Dr. you, you hit it on the head and uh, tim ray the other day and i'm listening and i'm listening to you and i'm like so proud and i'm so happy and i'm like mm -hmm. wow look at this i mean Stephen, there's many broadcasters out there, many people doing interviews. Do you see how much you you went further? You're on TV, Stephen. I know. It's like in, <laughs> it's a mind blower. I know. It is. It's crazy. So uh, crazy. It's crazy good. <laughs> crazy good. But I think that you hit it, Dr. Sophie, when you said role model right so that's what i had to do is transform into that role model and that took a lot of studying and that took following others that that were wiser than i am and to to listen to what they had to say and i didn't just listen i took notes i've got pages and pages of books of full of notes and when you write things down it improves your comprehension level immediately by doing that and so i, I wrote things down and and I said I wanted to become a role model, um, particularly for my kids, because I was a horrible role model in my earlier days. And it cost me the relationships with my kids. And it's like, you know, I want to be somebody that people look up to, not that people talk about, you know, oh, he's, that guy. <laughs> he's just a drunk, right, or whatever. And, and people can talk all they want now. And that's the difference is because... I had to forgive myself and I then could look in the mirror and say, I love myself. And when you can have that strength and believe in yourself, because we all, we are love. I believe that hundred uh percent. -huh. We're children of God. I believe that. And so as children of God, we have, we possess all these wonderful, just greatness within us. And we just have to nurture that greatness. And then I said, Okay, I, I want to be a role model. And I just let it kind of go and I just let it happen. And then this is where the law of attraction comes in and, and, and the, the answers to prayers, things happen.
they start manifesting and then you can start taking advantage of those opportunities and so that's kind of what happened and and little did i know when i was writing that book uh that chapter a uh, transitional change in the book transformational change 11 ways to strengthen your resolve that i was really going to become that you know in such a way it's like wow you attracted that lifestyle uh, well and i think that when we have an idea of what we think that we wanted or what we wanted to achieve that when you're doing the right thing and i have this higher power i believe in that firmly 100 percent you can just call that the consciousness the you know greater consciousness whatever you want to call it it doesn't matter uh, i think we're all still talking about the Amen same thing that. That, <laughs> yeah it, it, it's called the creative yeah creative consciousness yes. thought creates thought has energy it makes things happen so um it comes back way bigger i mean just like mind blower and that's why you know when i said years ago oh i'd like to become public to make the family business the household name i had no idea that, that meant i was going to be the broadcaster and stuff and be on tv i just had no idea it's like that's not what i was thinking <laughs> wow good luck. so this this brings back and an interesting thought that, that, that I had is that who you are now and what you're doing now, even though you have this past and your past is just a story. And it seems like even since we met you two years ago and did the interview and everything, that who you are now is not who you were then. This is a brand new Steve right now, today, a brand new Steve. This is a Steve that is rising in terms of his shows, his television shows, uh, and the other people that he's meeting is also influencing the people that you're interviewing, should I say, is also uh, part of who you are as well. And if so, the Steve now, if you could go back and talk to the old Steve, because that old Steve doesn't exist anymore. It's it again. That old Steve is history, but if you could talk to that Steve from your perspective now, what would you say to him? What I would say to him is, n number one, um, you need to start loving yourself and you need to forgive yourself for the things that you've done wrong. And you need to let it go. And, and you need to just be okay with that because we can all make mistakes, Steve, that's what can happen. So let that part go and then start recognizing that, that, that you're loved, you're loved by, you know, the higher power, God, the consciousness, the, 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 the flow of love, the, uh, people that you don't think love you because they're being mean to you, but they're doing this, you know, tough love thing that whatever you, you, you there, there is hope. But you're going to have to make some changes and you're going to have to make some changes that are going to help you get to where you want to be so that you can learn but start with forgiving yourself start Was it hard with a to forgive yourself Stephen. not anymore i i just not i mean there was a day i would never i i would i could be drunk and tell you i wasn't drinking um you know i mean i was just so lying to myself to try and lie to other people and now i recognize well you know that lie i was trying to convince myself that that was the truth and so in fact it was the truth at the time even though it was a lie <laughs> you know wow. uh, so i had to get really honest with myself and today i wouldn't take any of it back i wouldn't change the fact of anything that i've experienced in my life i just wouldn't uh, and i'm not ashamed of it anymore i would try and hide it before absolutely because i was so afraid of what's the next guy going to say he's going to put you down fine put me down today i don't care it's okay you know yeah i, I made a lot of mistakes things you know i i'm not necessarily proud of but i know that i had to do that stuff what i hope is is that you don't if you're suffering and went through go the the route that i did with the drinking and the drugging and the end up homelessness and the hating yourself and wanting to die every day and hating life that you can change it it can be changed it and i'm an example of that 
-hmm. So it starts with gratitude. Forgiving yourself and having gratitude. Because gratitude does something I've, I've learned molecularly at a molecular level it starts changing us and the serotonin is released and is stimulating our pleasure center that's the best high is just being happy and loving life and enjoying it for what it has to give us that is definitely a very good feedback because i was working with a client and she had a very hard time to forgive herself for a decision she made like years ago. And it, every mm -hmm. time she gets those triggers, she gets into this really down feeling and she just can't function. And she's extremely talented. She's a superstar. Mm -hmm. And when I see the, the soul feeling so imprisoned and constrained because you are not, she even forgave the person who did her wrong, but she's just not able to forgive herself. So mm -hmm. I understand how hard it is. And sometimes it takes years and decades and sometimes people live and die and they're still not able to forgive themselves. And this is why I wanted to mm -hmm. ask you that and, you know, going back into gratitude and then also yeah. little by little changing your environment and then, yes. you know, writing things down, learning and having a growth mindset truly, truly was your best ally through the process of your progress. And, and that's really amazing. And that's why I wanted, you know, just in case anyone there hearing this, that knows somebody who has this, you know, challenge. And, and so, you know, they can pass that forward and or if they're going through it themselves, because there's nothing more joyous than the liberation of your soul and the connection with your own inner peace. And that's a very good foundation for where you can create new realities like you have. So yeah. congrats again. <laughs> Thank you. I am um, oh, hey, challenge right now to share this this episode and, and, and get a hold of steve as well oh yeah thank you yeah we want you to share this out to your friends if you know somebody that is suffering or that's depressed and, and down on themselves it's not an easy thing to forgive ourselves now i i i, I learned how to do that with through the 12 steps I did because the fourth step is about making a list of all this stuff I mean you have to get really seriously honest with yourself there's other ways to do it but the thing about it was is that I've also had the ability to go through uh see cognitive behavioral therapy too to break myself back down to nothing and work myself back up and create this whole brand new belief system and what I would say is it is difficult to forgive ourselves but, you know, I'll say I, I don't want to get religious because I'm not religious. I'm spiritual. But if I look at the Bible and I look at the fact that Jesus died on the cross for my sins and I say, OK, which I have, accept that as, as my truth, that I am uh, going to live forever. And I'm forgiven mostly. This is the important part, forgiven for my sins. Now, if he can do that for me, why am I holding it against myself? Okay, so if you're a Christian, that's a good answer for you right there. If you're not a Christian, then maybe not. That's that's not the answer, but that's okay too. The fact of the matter is, we make mistakes. The people that go forward, or the people that get back up off the ground, dust themselves off and say, "You know what? Okay, I made a mistake. Keep on moving." But I had to back it up with a healthy routine, and that was the critical part. And I also want to just say this really quickly. When I failed a lot of times in the past about the drinking thing was because I got complacent. Okay, so yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about myself. Everything's really good. And then I wreck it, you know, and it's like I always wondered, why did I wreck that? Well, I'll tell you why I wrecked it. I wrecked it because I got complacent and I started taking for granted everything that I had. This is where the gratitude comes in, okay? If you get gra grateful for what you got, it doesn't have to be a lot, like just being alive, having a shirt, you know, in this case, a, a tie. And I promise I had lots of ties. I don't have so many ties anymore. I had to go back out and get ties and stuff. It's like, wow, okay, that's a big deal, you know, for me, for a guy that wore a suit for 20 years, right? But um, so complacency, be, be careful of getting too complacent you got I had to step into my fear I had to take a risk 
and then I had to back it up with a routine. And that's the critical part is the routine uh, daily. And I've been doing it for well over two years, about two and a half years or better. The same thing every single day, pretty much. And that's waking up and I get up really early. And then I say a prayer of gratitude. And then I start putting good information into my brain. Okay, so I like audio visuals, so I'll, I'll listen to people like uh, Bob and or the things that he recommends uh, and Sophie and or go to YouTube and follow the top influencers. That's what I did. I followed the top influencers in the world and listened to what they had to say about success and moving forward. And then I started do, doing these videos and that was all part of my routine. And I talked about different aspects, but that was for me because i had to talk this stuff to me even though i was talking it to others it was really for me <laughs> you know because yeah so that's where i found myself is just this this regular routine like we talked about earlier of healthy stuff for us and then that evolved into well just prior to this show ask dr jenny taking care of ourselves from a health standpoint you know physically but it's really yeah. important to take care of ourselves mentally too and that's 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 where Dr. Um, Sophie and Bob come in, uh -huh. you know. It's all important. It's all part of. They're all pillars to a healthier well-being, and mm -hmm. you can't discount any of them because they're all very important to create that uh, harmony within. You know, whether it's what you're eating or what you're thinking and where what you're doing, uh, they uh, they're gonna all influence the outcome of what you're experiencing in the end. So. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it, there's a lot to it. Um, and, and it just takes, uh, I, I sum it up like this. It takes, uh, well, and I didn't really even get to that, the affirmations. That's a really super important part. That's part of that intention. Saying mm -hmm. these positive affirmations. I mean, that morphed itself. And I have to remember and I'm saying, I've never led a guided meditation before in my life, you know, and now on Mondays, I'm leading a guided meditation of positive affirmations. It's like, okay, <laughs> you know, because the affirmations by repeating the positive affirmations, like I am a good person, I am healthy, I am achieving my dreams and goals, the I am is who we are and yet we're all connected and then you get in this flow of this energy of this power and it just helps you right along and it starts manifesting these i am statements mm -hmm. but you got to do them consistently day in day well, out intentions, and, yes they definitely do like you said consistency yeah. is the key so i was yeah consistency determination dedication <clears throat> And visualization of these goals and dreams, you have to visualize them. This is another key ingredient, I believe, is that you see that. You see, I like to use a reverse engineering concept. Um, not that I'm an engineer, <laughs> far from that. But when I'm methodical about stuff, and I like facts and research and planning. Mm -hmm. And so start here. This is where you are. This is what I want. This is what I am. This is what I want to achieve. And you write it down. And then you start reverse engineering it with all the steps that it's going to take to get you to that point. Because then it's going to take the action. But you have to visualize it as already truth and have faith in the fact that it's already true. Because it's going to help the, you know, and this is this kind of stuff that I've learned. It's going to help you reprogram that mind reprogram it and it'll help you get rid of because when you're hating on yourself where it's coming from is your subconscious it's just coming from a tape player here that for whatever happened in your life that's why you're feeling the way that you are but you know what that didn't mean that it was true as a matter of fact it's probably not true uh -huh. and what does it matter what other people judge you it does not matter what other people judge you because that's what i've had to do is get to a non as best i can and i struggle i'm, I'm a human being right I do the best of, and I say to myself, today is a great day to learn and grow new opportunity because every day I can learn something new. So what, it, it's all about attitude. You know, I don't know it all. It, it takes all this planning, but that's okay. Visualization and trusting in the fact that it can, it can happen for you. That's, that's where it comes from.
and, and, and you just hit a statement that I think is very powerful. You said, I don't know it all. Amen. Yeah. When you say that, that, that shows me that you have a true growth mindset when you say you don't know it all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't think um, people out there really understand that. A lot of people think that in order to be successful, you have to know it all. Nobody can know it all. I mean, mm-hmm. I studied psychology for years and years and years and years and all these other areas. And I think I maybe know that much of, of this whole realm. And <laughs> bigger. <laughs> Not that. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because uh like the IQ guy yesterday i was like looking into something and i connected that concept with creativity and then i i realized that the first time i ever got introduced to that amazing japanese concept was with dr bob and, all, and he goes i only know this and i'm like he's this is this for me <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Okay. I agree 100%. I do. Well, 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 here's, here, here's the thing that I think it's really uh, commendable that you, that you say that. And I think a lot of people, including a lot of uh, motivational speakers, trainers, and others that uh, espouse like they know it all. And I think they, even these people need to take a page from Stephen Smith, because the fact that you've gone through all this, you remain humble, even though you're, Amen you're to that. yes, uh, I think it's very powerful in of itself. And I'm going to give you, okay. I mean, I'm going to praise you night and day on this because I, I, I think everything that you've gone through your, your whole life and, and, the, and the lessons that you, you learn from, from that, that most people would have just given up and and, and the courage and the courage yeah and and I, I i i know that i want to go back to ego in a minute but i i want to also say yes many times i did give up uh and i mean with the drinking even all the way to the point of saying okay well fine you know i clearly am not on my own will quitting the drinking for any, you know, is not over and done with. Um, let me get here. So, yeah, I threw myself off with that one a little bit. So I'll just go back to the ego. Oh, I guess, you know, I failed. That, that That's the thing is, is that I thought I could do it on my own. I couldn't do it on my own. I did need support. I did need help. And so I had to seek out that help. And so if you're struggling, I suggest seek out help because that's a sign of strength if you just ask somebody do that just ask somebody for help that's a sign of strength if you didn't know it already um reach out there's people out here like all three of us i know that are more than willing to do anything that we can to help people that's what we do we're built to serve and and people who go through a certain thing like you did in your area Mm -hmm. and they Mm -hmm. seek help from you in that area it's almost like you relate to their situation so much that their guard and their walls are all going down and they can be more transparent because they know that person truly been there, done that, understands their pain, their challenge. And there's something magical about it. You see, for those who experience adversity and choose to do something back with it and, you know, to give back from their own adversity versus those who go through the adversity and are ashamed of it, never want to share it. They want to hide it because they are still seeking the validation in society because they feel that they're going to be judged if they share it. And that's why I kept saying courage, courage, you had courage. You had courage because the, it takes a lot of courage to be transparent like that. It takes a lot of courage for someone to go on a live show and say, I did drink, I did drugs, I've been in jail for heaven's sake, and be yeah. talking about it in a live show sure like did. that. Yes. I mean, think about it, Stephen. You, you really had that. And for people who are suffering from that, which is many, 
and our society has gazillions of needs a lot mega need of people coaching those people who are still being able to get the help and have much hope to rise up because there is this light in the end of the tunnel and people like you are saying here's my hand i'm i'm here to hold you just grab okay. it let me get you yeah. up slowly you know mm -hmm. and, and and so that is really amazing so reaching out for the right help in the area that you need for the specialty of what you are trying to mm -hmm. transform to can really make a lot of miracles in someone's life and being out there and letting people know that you are there and you can help them and you offer your services to them i think that is like one of the greatest things that we can give back in in our, our communities and on a global level collectively if we all do of the gifts that we have and share them with others by offering those services i i really believe we can have such a faster comeback that's going to beat any virus, any illness, any mindsets that are limited and narrow and thinking, because it starts with that kind of attitude. It does. Yeah, I, I agree. Absolutely. And, and that's what I recognized, um, you know, because I, I tried to mentor. Well, I, I, I do mentor under, I think, both of you. I pay attention to what you do and I learn from both of you. Um, which is so, so I'm so blessed. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We are blessed um, by you. I, and I've got so much more to learn. I do. I, I do. And I'm excited about that too, is, is that, that I want to do that as well and learn more. But I wanted to address that ego thing because we talked about those people that think that they know it all. Um, okay. I know a couple of them. <laughs> they know it all. They're right. You're wrong you know no matter what and or you need it okay so that's what i've had to learn is just say okay <laughs> you know whatever uh but i also i did reading years ago on the ego and that's not our true selves that's our learned self that's our defense mechanism i believe to try and make us feel good about ourselves but mm -hmm. That's not really happening because, in fact, you're not really feeling good about yourself or else you wouldn't have to have such a huge ego. Because in my mentoring, I learned to choose one word. One word that summed me up now. And that word, it took a long time to get there. And it, I didn't have that word when I first met you a couple of years ago. But that one word is empowerment. Uh -huh. That is me not only to empower myself to to take risks and to move forward and to look at life as every day is an opportunity to learn and grow and become a better person but to help empower others and that i was built to serve built to serve that's my job it's for me to use my skills to help other people and for me it's very much a pay it forward uh, of to share my experience and my strength and my hope for the future and let you know that it can be different. It can be different. And so that's what I, empowerment, it's a powerful word. When we empower ourselves, our lives can change so drastically. We can let go of all this other stuff because we're being bombarded. And that's why we have to come together. And I, and I feel that that's the mission of this show is to let you all know mm -hmm. that when we come together in unity of love and caring for each other, life will get better and we will shine this light and let people know there is light at the end of a very dark tunnel. And there is. And we, will, the, all of us, and surely even the people that are watching this video are there to extend a hand and say, you know what, I'll help you. I'll help you out of there. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> We're actually coming to the show, and I, I wanted to ask you if you were to leave three things to our audience that they can take okay. away in their life, what would those three things be? The first thing would be hope. There is hope. The second thing would be adopt a healthy routine 
And then I think the most important thing that begins the process is to forgive yourself. If you do those things, there's more that goes with it. Start with the forgiving yourself. And you can move forward. And life can get, life can become anything that you choose it to be. It is all a perception. You know, it's all it's all just the way we want to see things. And surround yourself with positivity. Surround yourself with people like Dr. Sophie and Dr. Bob who are there to, you know, uh, I mean, grandmaster of transformational change. Dr. Bob, I mean, come on. You're a hero <laughs> in my eyes. But also Steve, too. Surround yourself with people like Steve <laughs> Smith. Thanks. Yes. And, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thanks. And, and by the way, Stephen, if people wanted to get a hold of you, what is the best way to do that? The best way to get a hold of me is through... Um, I'm going to say email. Okay, let's go with email. Um, you can certainly take a look at our Facebook page. We have a Facebook page, the LWN Foundation, the LWN Foundation on, on, on Facebook. Send me a messenger. I am Stephen Smith, S-T-E-P-H-E-N-S-M-I-T-H-S-R-Q. That stands for Sarasota, by the way, folks, because I live here. Uh, excuse me and so you can uh send me a message that's my personal page on i have a website www.lwnfoundation.org because we are a non-profit registered in the state of florida but we have email on there too just reach out to us and send us a message let us know how we can help We're, we are here to help and we are here to serve you Oh, beautiful, beautiful. I'm here for you. You yeah, know, if uh, anything I can do, that's that's why I'm here is, is to try and help make. I consider uh, what I'm doing is a resource for positive transformational change. If you desire positive transformational change in your life, take action. Reach out to myself. Reach out to Dr. Sophie or Dr. Bob. Reach out to it's anybody. It's about you, Stephen, right now. Okay. He's so, uh, so well, humble, that's okay. So it's... generous. He's so loving. But reach out. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. I'm like, where do I go? Make sure that you I said. Next. I said. Okay. I'm going to give you the email. <laughs> okay. Everybody watch the shows. Get, get a hold of them. And yes, and he, he does a lot of shows uh, and, yes. to guide you, guide you through your life, through the struggles you're going yeah. through, because he's been there, he's been there, and he's been able to come out of the despair, the the deep ditch, and everything like that. And we're so happy to have you here, Steve. You're thank you, thank you. Guy, and I love your transformation, and and. We both have seen that growth. We both have talked about that growth. Yes, Stephen, we talked about you behind your back. We're so proud. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I, I am honored. I am honored to be here, and I appreciate that. Uh, I tell you, it is pretty easy to find me. It just happened accidentally, but I think that my higher power wanted this to happen. But you can certainly Google me. Yes. Just Google me or look up Stephen Smith, SRQ, Stephen with a PH on Google. Yeah, look up LWN Live with LWN Live. You'll see me on the front page. We're there. We're there for you. Let us know. And, and when things open up, and if you happen to take a vacation down to Sarasota, don't be surprised if you are yeah. here. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Come on down. <laughs> Come on down. There you go. Blessings. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you so very much. What an honor. And, you know, I appreciate all the viewers. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, share this video out to the friends and to the, the groups that you belong to. Yes. Thank we love you. Ya. Yes, we love you. And uh, Dr. Bob, I know you're, you're, I couldn't hear you. We're trying to see something there. What? What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finding a lot of energetic activity there on your side. We're trying to figure out what you're trying to say. <laughs> oh, nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. 
I'm, I'm just working this, uh, this, uh, <laughs> so yeah, just work- <laughs> This is a great way, by the way. That, yeah, laughter mindset. If you're not a member of that, you got to join that group too. By the way, everybody it's, just laugh, laugh your. <laughs> it's a great way to end the show. Absolutely. <laughs> Steve, and, let, and and Steve, you can put your information down, down in the description. Of, I mean, down in the in the, yeah. So so you. That, after we get off here and 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 i'll make I'll sure do that I'll make sure to update this the description as well so again thank you again thank you steve uh, you're story, tips and everything. thank you everyone for watching and and many of yeah. you probably are familiar with steven on wisdom cafe because he posts there almost a lot and you can connect <laughs> all, all our members on wisdom cafe reach out you can connect with them directly right from there too so that would be a start <laughs> it would and and hit the hit the love uh, on the post because there's a bunch of them in there uh -oh. yeah <laughs> we gotta hit the love remember that and share it of course <laughs> or watch us on tv because i am on tv all <laughs> right there you go <laughs> yeah uh, you're so awesome Blessings. Thank you. Bye, Blessings all. Appreciate you. Have a great day.